So here we come to the discussion about the prompt strings and what are the fields that you can insert as a part of the prompt string and uh, customizing them for your needs. So the context for prompt strings has uh, come already when we were using the bash shell. So there are a lot of shells in the Linux operating system like the dash shell, z shell, k shell and c shell apart from the bash. Each of these will have a default configuration for the prompt and uh, by recognizing the nature of that prompt you can actually go on to see if there is any configuration change that you want to do. There are also other command line utilities such as python which can be uh, run on the command line to try out certain pieces of code before you put them together in a Jupyter notebook or in a python script. So the prompt for the python or octave which is a MATLAB compatible numerical package and language on Linux and then GNU plot which is a very powerful plotting tool available on Linux and Sage Math which is a symbolic computing package which is comparable and perhaps better than tools like Mathematica or Maple. So all these languages will have a command line environment where the prompt can be different and one can also customize those. There are four bash prompts that are configured and what we see on the screen when we open a bash shell is the primary prompt which usually ends with a dollar. And then there is a secondary prompt which is shown when we have a multi-line input. We did not close the quotes and then we need to close it by supplying some more input. So in such situations the secondary prompt will be shown and that is usually the greater than symbol. The third prompt string is used when we run a bash command in a select loop which is part of the shell scripts that we have explored in the past. And the fourth prompt string is shown when every command that is executed by the bash is to be displayed on the screen because we have used the option set minus x which is to basically make the execution trace so that it helps us in debugging the scripts. Now there are certain escape sequences that you could use while configuring the values for these four prompt strings so that what is displayed on the screen can be changed. So you could use the time in different formats, the current time or current time in 24 hour format with the seconds also displayed or current time in 12 hour format with the seconds displayed. You could have the name of the shell displayed. The host name either up to the first period or the complete host name. You could also have the date displayed if you wish, the current user's username which is also default in uh, the bash shell on Ubuntu that is displayed. You can have the current directory that is displayed which is also part of the default for the Ubuntu bash. And then you can also have the command line number so that you can keep track on how many commands you are running and you can go back to the history also. And uh, you can also use the literal characters to escape the sequence by using a backslash. So the default value of uh, the PS1 is what is given at the bottom slash u at slash h colon slash w slash dollar. So the meaning would be the username at the machine name colon the current directory followed by dollar symbol if the user is not super user. In the case of uh, Python command line, the PS1 and PS2 are defined in the module sys and they can be modified as a part of your code and by overriding the string function, you could actually also make it dynamic. And by default, the Python command line has a command prompt which is three greater than symbols. Now let us look at a demo of this customization in the shell. So the first prompt string what we have here already you can make out that it is the username at the host name which is uh, the machine name icme colon and then the tilde is a short form for the home directory followed by dollar. So where I am, so I am at the home directory and uh, 
cd tilde will bring me to the home directory so tilde is a short form for home directory so the prompt string is already having the home directory here so let us see what is the value that is given for ps1 and now you see that fairly long string is there some of these which are coming here are actually for the color display so you know that its display is in green color so color display is shown uh, don't worry about those come here and notice what is actually given so the username at the host name is there followed by the current directory and then dollar okay so i will show you what would be the difference if we reconfigure the ps1 to the four parts that we have seen just now ps1 is equal to slash u at slash h colon slash w slash dollar okay now you see that the color of the prompt has changed so some of these other codes which i mentioned here and uh, here the ending so these kind of things are all basically for color other than that if you see the display it is the same text which means that this is all that actually matters for us okay so we can now configure it with some more fields and let us try that out instead of username and host name what i would like to do is slash t and now you see that the time is being displayed so if we include in seconds it can be displayed okay as a part of the prompt string and instead of t i would actually use d which gives me the date okay so the date is matching only the date part is actually displayed in the prompt okay so for those who are liking that format can be can choose that way so you could also have the date and time together as part of the prompt string okay and you could also have hash to list what is the number of the command okay so 44th command is currently what is there so i put ls and then the number changes to 45 so is the next command okay and the next command so you could see that the number in front of the colon is increasing which means that this particular field is enabling us to keep track of how many at the command are we typing in in the current instance of the bash okay so of course if we have uh, messed up the uh, prompt string and we would like to revert it back all that we need to do is uh, to source the bash rc and you get back the prompt because the prompt is defined in the bash rc so where is it defined you can see here so in this paragraph you have the bash prompt defined and therefore whenever you have any problem uh, you can just look at this particular part make a copy of it so that uh, you don't uh, lose it you can actually comment it out and then change it to what you want so that whenever you log in the prompt is the way that you like now the second command prompt is here so that is just a greater than symbol so if you say like echo hello and i must close the quote symbol i don't close it so you now see that the second prompt has come which is basically asking me to close the quotation symbol so i now close it and then the command is complete so i get back the primary prompt now i would like to change the secondary prompt to something else and here i can use the field names that we have uh, learned just now so i can say hey and then username close the string okay so now what happens is that when i try to do the same command the prompt would now look very different so you see the prompt is saying hey funny close the string and i close it now and now you see that the prompt is back to the primary prompt the secondary prompt alone we have uh, configured where the username field is used here and rest of it is what 
I like to show. So you can customize as you like. Now the PS3 is for the select command. So let us look at that first of all. So it doesn't display. However, it is already configured and that is something that you could uh, look at it here. Select X in alpha, beta, gamma. Do echo dollar x done. So now this is a select command in bash syntax, and I am now supposed to select uh, one of the three options given alpha, beta, gamma, and the values are one, two, three. And you see the prompt is actually hash question mark. Okay, so I can choose uh, one, and then it gives me the value that I have chosen. I can choose two; it gives me the value I have chosen. Okay, and if I happen to choose something else, it doesn't allow that. Okay, so I can come out with Control C, and I can customize the PS3. PS3 is equal to I'll say choose choose your option as, as above. Okay, so that is what I want to display. So let us go ahead and run this uh, command again and you see that the prompt has changed. Okay, So you can customize the PS3 also. Okay, and come out of that. Now the PS4 as I mentioned to you is for uh, displaying the command on the screen if we have put set minus x option for execution trace. So I will put that option now. So from now on, till I put the command set plus x, what happens is that every command that I am running will be first printed out on the screen and then the command will be run. So you see that plus pwd and then the command has been run and the output is home g -funny. Date. So the command is again displayed plus date and then the date command output is coming up. So the prompt string for this output is basically plus character. Okay. So, we can now change that PS4 is equal to and then I can give a string. I can say now running command. Okay. So, I can now change it that way. So, if I now start typing, you can see that the prompt has changed from plus symbol. It has now changed to now run, running command colon which means that the PS4 has been customized. Okay, So all the four prompt strings in bash can be customized. Now what are the other prompt strings that we came across? Uh, Python is one such thing. So let us see what is the prompt string in the case of Python. And you can see it is basically three symbols of three greater than symbols side by side. That is the uh, prompt string. Okay, so I come out of that. Octave is a tool I mentioned to you which is a very powerful language with a syntax compatible with MATLAB. So that is also available as a command line utility. So you could do things that are quite complicated, creating an array from 1 to 100, creating array with the hops of 10. And making a plot which uh, came on the other window okay so this is a language and the prompt for octave seems to be that it is a string octave followed by a colon and then the number which represents the command line uh, sequence that we are entering so there's another tool called gnu plot which is also having the command line you can see that the prompt is gnu plot Sage is uh, a symbolic computational uh, package. It's a language, very powerful, and uh, it's also available on command line as well as as a Jupyter notebook. The prompt is Sage colon.
so the plot was coming on the other window okay so quite uh, so so that's about the command prompts and how to customize in bash and also command prompts in other command line environments that uh, we have seen till now